Hey folks, Paul here from iCrack.com and today we are going to walk you through an iPod Touch second or third generation screen replacement. Um, but before we begin, let me walk you through the tools we provide uh, to our customers in our iPod Touch toolkits. Um, every toolkit comes with a nylon spudger, Phillips head screwdriver, a ring suction cup, a guitar pick, a cleaning cloth, and replacement adhesive for those of you with a fourth generation iPod Touch, but we will not, we will not be needing that adhesive for this repair. Um, some extra tools we always have um, or like to have during these repairs um, are a small uh, pocket knife um, and a pair of tweezers, both of which we offer on our website, um, as well as um, this iSesmo pry tool, um, which you can as which you can also find on our website. It serves the exact same function and purpose as our Gerber um, blade here. Uh, before we begin as well, let me show you that right here we have a second generation iPod Touch. Um, the repairs between the second generation and third generation are extremely similar, um, both screen and LCD. Uh, we are gonna do a second generation repair here um, but before we begin, I'll just show you the differences between the, the second generation and third generation uh, screen. As you can see, first of all, they are full assemblies. Um, they come with the frame, um, home button, and everything else. Um, so it is one full thing rather than just the glass. But if you look right here, the main difference between these two are the connections very similar to the iPhone 3G. You can see this connection is all gold teeth. There is no um, plastic, black plastic in between. Um, and also it folds under like so. Um, and when it is not folded, it is exposed like this. So it sticks out just like that. Um, and that is how the second generation iPod touch screen um, looks. Now the third generation iPod Touch, um, the connection folds out like this, this way, and then also you can see the black middle plastic that I was referring to, um, and this is also the case in the iPhone uh, 3GS. So that's your main difference. Um, this was just to improve the connections be between the screen and the logic board. Um, everything else, however, um, is exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Um, to remove the screen, we're actually only gonna need um, either your, your spudger, pry tool, or um, blade. It's really just a matter of lifting it up out of um, 11 clips that surround the iPod Touch. There's one at the top, four on the side, two right here, and then four more on this side. Um, and really, it's just about popping those off and lifting the screen um, from right to left, so like this. Um, to begin, we're just gonna take our knife or pry tool and reach in right over the volume buttons. We're gonna reach in between the frame, the metal uh, back, and the plastic frame right here. You don't want to get in between the f glass and the frame because that's not going to do anything for you. You actually want to go between the frame and the back, just, just like that. So, which, so what we're going to do is work our way down. Just slowly but surely, not going too deep with our tool and you will hear your clips um, coming undone. So let's go back up to the top. Let's get this corner out. You just want to take it slowly. This is a, a, a fairly easy repair. Um, but just like any of the, just like any of the other repairs, there that you are dealing with broken glass, so you do want to be careful of that. Okay. 
as you can see we've got a little bend in the metal frame here um, from the drop um, that is not as much of a problem with the second and third gen iPods as it is with the fourth generation iPods um, but you do want to be mindful of it and try to reshape it if you can so we've got all the clips undone it's a very very simple removal we're going to go ahead and open it from right to left just like this and we're going to be able to see exactly where the screen is connected to the logic board right here so all we need to do is just pop that right off and there you go all right so now that we've got our cracked screen removed from our second generation iPod touch we will go ahead and put on the new one it's actually a very easy process um, we're gonna go ahead and put the screen right next to the iPod touch just like so and we will connect the connector right here to this connection right here before folding the screen over and placing it down into the frame um, let's go ahead and do that right now you can use your finger just by bending the cable a little bit and feeling it out to make sure it's right in place and you'll hear two little clicks and there you go now because this is a second generation iPod touch the um, connection is not going to be as firm as a third generation iPod touch that was the big difference between the connections between those generations of iPod touches as well as between the iPhone um, 3G and 3GS now before we lay this down let's go ahead and remove our protective film like so from the screen and we're going to simply pop it down and make sure that, it, that the frame at each one of these points is clipped in to the clips within the frame that are on the mid plate um, behind the LCD. So we'll just simply fold it over and begin clipping it in. And there you have it. There's your iPod Touch second or third generation screen repair. Um, a fairly easy repair and one that didn't take us too long. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.